About 30 years ago, the number of children diagnosed with autism was 1 in 10,000. Today, it's 1 in 110. Now, while the question is, what can cure autism? One group called The Miracle Project says all we need to do is look within ourselves for the answer. I've been bullied a lot throughout my life because I've had autism and I would just say to them, hey, it's a disability, you should really deal with it because a lot, a lot of you were born with it also and you shouldn't make us feel bad just because we have it. Well, what do they say when you tell them that? They don't listen and it makes me really hurt inside. If your body can move right straight, looking over your shoulder, really flat, Ready, sideways, ready, go, sideways. Each Wednesday evening, eccentric energy fills a room in West LA. One up. It's just an amazing group that lets us express how we feel and act and sing. Where kids with autism sing what's in their hearts. It's a message of love and acceptance. What these kids say is the anecdote for autism. It's helped me learn to be accepting of the word autism because I used to not be accepting. I was able to experience firsthand what some consider a miracle in the making. And in the end there is love. There are kids who have a song in their heart and they're just waiting for a place to be able to express it. Who am I? That's a rhetorical question. Will you stop confessing me to check your blessing? And that place is called The Miracle Project. Beautiful, you guys. The brainchild of music and theater coach Elaine Hall, or Coach E as they call her, The Miracle Project was created when her own adopted child, Neil, was diagnosed with autism at the age of two. Rather than pulling him into my world, I was able to get into his world. So he would flap his hands, I would flap with him, and we would be birds. So you had an emotional connection. Completely. Really, what does any parent want but to connect to their child? And contrary, again, to the popular belief that kids with autism don't have emotions and they're not sensitive, I find them to be some of the most sensitive, extraordinary, loving human beings. We are one in my heart is love. And that, and that is just, we're just energy. Autism is just energy and it's love that's expressing out of our hearts to give to the world. Wyatt, then what, what are your dreams? What are your dreams? My dream is to be on Broadway one day. To the city that never sleeps. Yo, we got the LA to the house. And Broadway's not too far behind. With a recent performance at Carnegie Hall, the Miracle Project has skyrocketed these kids to new heights. I'm feeling happy. Dreams do come true for me. Big dreams, big hearts. They've come to accept their ability in their disability. It was a hard stage growing up with autism, but now I've learned that it's something to be proud of. And teach others what autism truly means. It's really that we are all one. There is no us and them. Everyone has a little bit of autism in them. Are we done? We done? We are! <laughs> well, the Miracle Project is now reaching out globally. The program has been introduced in Ethiopia and just this month in India. Elaine and the kids of the Miracle Project are scheduled to appear before the United Nations for World Autism Awareness Day this coming April. And to learn more about the Miracle Project, just go to our website, cbs2la.com, and click on Seen on TV. It, it just seems like such a great opportunity for them, and you can see their confidence. Oh, they build, as you heard them say, we have come to accept our autism. We are all one family, and that's, that's their message. You're They're just a, so loving. You're the perfect person to do that story, too. Oh.